90,000 tonnes of floating luxury cruising into Napier. The Queen Victoria is the largest ship to ever visit the city and on board are 2,000 passengers happy to see the country and spend their money. I've actually been on a tour out into the, out into the country which has been magic, beautiful. Spend some money in the shops. This is the first time I've ever been out of England. It's estimated a million dollars is spent every time a cruise ship arrives in a New Zealand port. A boon for local business, but one that's jeopardised by a lack of infrastructure in many ports. Even Auckland is struggling to cope. This season a record 73 cruise ships, carrying around 120,000 passengers, are expected to arrive, compared with just 46 last season. If we're going to take this industry and grow it, and then take all the advantages that Auckland can take, uh, then we need to invest in it. To do that, I think we need to have a dedicated cruise ship terminal. Michael Barnett says Queen's Wharf would be perfect. It's currently used for stacking second-hand Japanese cars and boxes of bananas. But it's also used as a backup arrivals terminal when two cruise ships are in port at the same time. They're 1945 built sheds, and we're bringing thousands of people in as potentially big spending tourists to a facility that really is, is very poor. Barnett says central government should help offset the losses the ports of Auckland might suffer. It would be difficult for the ports of Auckland to put up a business case that, you know, to justify it because all of the benefits are actually flowing into the rest of New Zealand. Tourism insiders say first impressions count in the cruise line industry because if passengers enjoy their stay, they'll often return for a longer visit. That means if Auckland, Napier and other ports can welcome them in style, retailers and tourism operators across the whole country could benefit. Tristram Clayton, 3 News.